For a contract, we need to have agreement and we need to have intent. And the third thing we need is consideration. So what is consideration? You can think of it like payment, but it's not just money. It's the price you pay for something. So consideration can be your promise to do something, a promise to not do something. So I promise um, not to uh, uh, sue you. For instance, is a classic one that would be used in law. Uh, it, consideration could be the goods you give something. It could be a service, like I give you a massage, a bit of a rub down, right? That would be good consideration from me. And you'd have to give me some consideration in return for there to be a contract. Uh, for instance, you generally pay for a massage. Okay, so let's look in a bit more detail at consideration. So one of the key ideas here is that if you just give something to someone, that's not a contract. Okay? It's not a legally enforceable contract because there needs to be consideration uh, from both parties. So both parties need to pay a price for a contract. And it doesn't matter what that price is. It could be money. It could be goods. It could be a service. Uh, it could be you doing something like giving a donation, uh, getting me a coffee, uh, promise to not appeal not to not do something. They're all good forms of consideration. So just to reiterate, money, goods, service, doing something, okay, refraining from doing something, or a promise to do any of those things. All of that is good consideration. Now, I just want to pause for a minute because this idea of the promise does confuse some people, right? So it's pretty obvious when like I buy a cup of coffee, the coffee and the money kind of exchange, right? Um, so what we want is this exchange of something. But what happens if I buy a coffee and promise to pay you later, right? Um, so that's credit in the business world, right? That promise to pay is good consideration. So good consideration doesn't require something to be done like at that moment when the contract is formed. Um, but the promise to do it is what is exchanged. Okay, so, and those promises become particularly important when you're outside any transaction in business because that's really what we're dealing with most of the time. A promise to deliver a goods or services and a promise uh, to pay for them. So the key idea is that there must be something of value from both parties. And we're gonna deal with two rules that help us work out whether both parties have provided something of value. The first is that consideration must move from the promisee. So imagine we've got two people doing this, having this deal, and I promise yeah, to, you know, do something. Say, wash your car, wash your car. Okay, so that is the promisor, and that is the promisee. So consideration must move from the promisee. So this person, the target of the promise, needs to pay a price, but it doesn't necessarily have to move to this person. And then the second rule that we'll see is consideration needs to be sufficient, but need not be adequate. I'm going to hold off explaining that one um, because it can be a little confusing. So consideration uh, must be worth something. So in our next video, what we're going to look at is the first of those rules. Consideration must move from the promisee, but not necessarily to the promisor.